So some people were complaining that the Xperia 1 Mark III is so rubbish that its camera system is straight from 2018. And I thought, hmm, huh, I took photos and no, it doesn't look like 2018. But what I want to do now is do a comparison between the Xperia 1 Mark III against one of the, according to DxO, Mark best flagship camera devices on the market currently, which is the Huawei P50 Pro. So we want to check out which one is the better device. And to do this fair and square without fanboys like kicking in and saying, hey, this is better, this is better, I will do some, I will show you some photos A and B and uh, they will be either the P50 or the One Mark III or maybe another device that I put in and you will decide which one is the best for you in terms of quality and at the end I will show you which of those devices is device A and B and C and D and E and F and G. No, probably not so many devices, maybe free devices only. So let's get started.
you're surrounded by darkness, open your eyes, look around you, it's a beautiful life, don't waste time, open your mind, have no regrets, paint the sky your favorite color. This is now a test recording with camera A and you can uh, guess which camera this is, how good stabilization is, colors, HDR and uh, so on, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Write down in the comment section what do you think, which camera is this. Now this is camera B, how good is stabilization, how good uh, are the colors, how good is HDR, what do you think about this quality, this is 1080p. And uh, this is camera B, you can write down in the comment section what do you think which camera this is. So this is now camera C, what do you think about the colors, what do you think about stabilization. This is a 1080p 60 frames per second and uh, how is the dynamic range and uh, which camera do you think is this one and how good is this one. Uh, last but not least, this is camera D. What about the colors? How good is stabilization? How good is HDR? 1080p, 60 frames per second. What do you think about this camera? And what do you think this camera, which camera is this? So now I'm back with all my cameras here and I want to ask you, which one do you think is the best of those cameras here in terms of photo quality but also in terms of video quality and please do choose from a b c d which one was the best one for you and then take a look at the spoiler which phone is which so first of all now the spoiler which one is which the one that i'm recording with right now is the sony xperia a one Mark III and this is camera A and I'm recording right now in HDR this I didn't use for the video test but I'm using it right now so you can see how this will look like I didn't use it simply for the video test because it's only supported in 1080p 30 frames per second instead of 60 frames per second but it gives you a very nice look and it is consistent look with the Xperia 1 Mark II that I also have here but I didn't test it for this video. Then we come to camera B which is a bit of a surprise maybe but I think it is last place for most people. I would say, not in all scenarios, but most likely, is the Xperia 10 Plus device, which is, I think, more than two years old now, and really mm, doesn't really have HDR enabled, or I didn't enable it at all because it's running Selfish OS, which in its default camera application doesn't have any HDR. So, no HDR for this, and you saw also no stabilization in video mode, so probably this will be fairly quite. The last place probably I would say for most of you but you maybe you have judged differently then we come to those two devices which look very similar but device C is the Honor 50 that um, yeah I have here with the new brand newest updated uh, software that arrived just a few days ago and then you can guess already device D is the one with the best high dynamic range even if you don't use HDR mode specifically in video it is somehow always using some kind of HDR mode for photos and for videos 
You noticed maybe that on the Honor 50 sometimes the color changed because by default it is having the AI Master AI deactivated and for some shots I just activated it so it might be not so obvious which phone is which. And then for the Honor, uh, for the uh, P50 Pro, Honor 50, P50 Pro, I also deactivated the uh, Master AI that was always on by default and this time I deactivated just to see how much more natural colors I can get and if the HDR gets less of an effect. But to be honest, no, it really got like the HDR was really good on the P50 Pro even if I turned off the AI, the Master AI mode which is interesting and this one I think is the HDR king but do you want HDR always? I think not always. So for me I think the Xperia 1 Mark III can compete with the P50 Pro even though I would say the P50 Pro in some occasions just take the phone snap a shot and have this HDR you don't have to think about uh, is there a subject like against the sun or something like this because this HDR is so good that it can like your mistakes can be fixed in post-production with the software that's on uh, on this uh, P50 Pro which is pretty cool and awesome. Anyway what I want to show you right now is that or my conclusion basically is the Xperia 1 Mark III can compete with flagship devices and you can clearly see it I think in this video. As always I will put all the photos that I took, videos maybe, maybe as well, underneath here there are links for the specific files you can watch those and uh, look at them on your screen to get a um, yeah, nice little um, preview on your devices as well in original quality so nothing lost due to the YouTube algorithms or video editor I'm using that might compress stuff a little bit too much. That is everything for this video. If you want to support independent content creation like this, a review or comparison and so on, please subscribe, share and like. That's everything. Until the next time. Bye.